Hello everyone, welcome to Pixatrick and in this tutorial of Snapseed, we are going to discuss about top 10 tips and tricks of Snapseed. So this video is going to be a long one, so be patient and watch until the end. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates like this. So our first trick is straightening with perspective. So to do that, we need to go to perspective and then we can adjust the image as we wish. And now click on done. And now tap anywhere over the image to see the before and after. Let's move towards our next trick or the second trick which is adding Instagram crop with expand and crop tool. Now as you all know that Instagram crops our photograph to a ratio of 5 is to 4 or 8 is to 10 on landscape. Now this photograph here is having a ratio of 3 is to 2. So we can go to expand tool, choose white or black as per your need and then just drag it towards the side, click on ok. Next go to crop and here choose the ratio 5 is to 4. Now we can crop it a bit more. And here our photograph is ready for Instagram. Moving towards our next trick which is adding background blur with selective. Now as you can see that the background is already quite smooth but we can make it more blurry so that the viewers attention goes directly on the water drop or the subject. So to do that let's go to selective and let us add some selective points over the background. Click on OK and we will use selective point once more for the foreground. Click on OK. Here is the before and here is the after. Now let's move towards our next trick which is remove unnecessary objects or people from a photograph with the healing tool. Now as you can see that there are plenty of boats scattered over all over the photograph. Now all we can do is to remove some of them so that it creates a sense of negative space in the photograph. So we will go to tools and choose the healing tool and we will start from top. So now there are only a few words in the photograph and it also looks clean and adds a sense of minimalism too. 
so now we have completed the fourth trick and now the fifth one which is create different exposures in black and white using colors and as you can see that there are a lot of different colors in this landscape photograph and we can just start our experiment go to tools and from there choosing black and white now here you can see that the different presets are given but we need to go to colors and now any color you choose here it will add a bit of exposure to that color and at the same time it reduces exposure from the opposite of that color now here if we choose blue you can see that the mountains over there which are blue in color is now exposed but at the same time the clouds which are orange or having a tone of red has lost highlights from them Maybe that is just perfect. So our next trick is an amazing one which is adding elements with double exposure. Now to do that all we need to do is to go to tools and from there go to double exposure. Now click on the plus image button it will take you to gallery. Now from the different blending modes we will choose subtract. Click on OK. Now go to Stacks Options and from there choose View Edits and now click on the double exposure and let's mask it manually. So that's it, we have successfully added the words into the photograph. And our next trick is adding a frame using the expand tool. All you need to do is to go to the tools. But maybe you are thinking that we can just simply do that by go to frames. And from adding it or from choosing between the various frames given there. But when you go to frames, you can see that It actually eats up the area of your photograph. The wider the frame, the more area is eaten up. We don't want to let it happen. So for getting rid of that, we can go to expand tool and from there choose white or black and expand the frame. And now we have added a frame without shrinking the photograph. And our next trick is create and using your own look which can be used anytime later. How to do that? Just simply edit your photo. So this was the image we imported and this is the image right now after edited. Now go to the styles, go to the very end and click on the plus and now just name your look and just save it. And now as you can see that our own look has been created and saved. And now we can import any other photo and we can just apply it on it. Let's import this one. 
and now just click on it to apply it on the photo and as you can see that it has been changed this is the image we imported and this is the image we have right now now as we learned to create and use our own look let's move forward towards the next trick which is to share our own look with others using the keyword look so to do that all we need to do is to go to the image stacks and from there we got the option of keyword look now we can just click on the create keyword look and we can share it with others easily now with the completion of the ninth trick let's move towards our final trick which is to create 3d texts with the text tool and to do that we will go to tools from there go to text and we will choose the l2 we will change the text to endless okay now first we will choose a dark color maybe this one now click on ok and then again go to tools and from there go to text choose the same style add the same text just in different color and this time we will select lighter color and now just place it like this now to make it more interesting just go to image stacks from their view edits and now mask the text and now click on done and go to the another one and now do the same with this one go to masking and just mask it out now as this is finished just click on ok and our 3d text is ready so that's all for this one thank you for watching